In the first videos of this playlist, we created a Google form, we exported to Google Sheet, and now what we're going to do is to make a zap. And what that allows us to do is to, we first thing we have to do is to name the zap uh, and add a note. Uh, on this screen, notice too, there's two panels. You've got a left side which is showing you kind of the path, and the right side is showing you selection opportunities. Uh, the other thing here is dashboard. If you click dashboard, what that does is you pull you back here, so you're able to see uh, the task history, connected apps, and everything else. What we're doing is working with this one. Uh, so let me continue with that. And so we've named it uh, Google Form Sheets to Salesforce Contacts. That's just our words. Uh, and then this becomes a, a, a uh, uh, just a, a toggle trigger to show us kind of what we're up to, what the next steps are. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose an app, and so we're we're taking a sheet and, and, and importing it into Zaps. So we're going to do that. It's going to say, what do you want to do? We're going to say we want to do a, a new spreadsheet row as the trigger. So every time a, a row is added to the spreadsheet because a form was completed, uh, we want to, to, to trigger the app. So we're going to do is to save and continue. Uh, and then what it says is the first thing you need to do is to connect it and make sure that it works. Uh, you can connect to another account if that's not correct. Uh, but what you can do is to click here and test it. Excellent. Got a successful connection. So we know we're okay there. And so we're able to continue. And what that gets us to is uh, the chance to identify the spreadsheet uh, row and worksheet. And just as, uh, as semantics, this is the spreadsheet and, and this is the, 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 the worksheet name. So what you'll see is, is that uh, that's the way they come through. So you click here uh, and what it'll do is to identify, what we want to do is to work with this one. Uh, and then the same way we can click here and it goes out and sees what we've got and says, okay, we want to work with the form responses, so we're all right there. Um, and then we can say we're set, so we're going to continue. Uh, and what that gets us to is this screen, which is just a double check, and it says, what, you know, do you have uh, do you have the information you need? This is what you're looking at. We're going to fetch and continue. And what that does is to say we've had a successful test. And now what we can do is to review a, a spreadsheet row. So we want to click here, and what that does is to, to bring up uh, this test. And what you can see is that we've got an email address and a first name and a last name just based on, uh, on what we were doing over here. Uh, and then, you know, so basically that's the information that we're looking to import. And so we can, if we need to, we could always bring in an additional row to take a look at it. Otherwise, what we can do is to continue. And that says at that point, uh, you've done what you need to, and now you're actually on to choosing another action app. This, it remembers a toggle, so that's a way to bring that down. And then this will show you the next step. So we're going to do that in the next uh, video so that what you've got is uh, uh, with this first one, we, we've created the act, the uh, the trigger. Now we're going to create the action. Thanks for watching.